right into this video, right into what today's video is about. I need to take these off. I don't know who I think I am. I think I'm in the club or something. Okay, so today's video is about a graduation party, what it means to host a graduation party, what it takes, the money it costs, uh, the people that come, the people that don't come, especially if you invite a bunch of black people. Not trying to discriminate. Y'all know I love my black folk, but y'all don't ever come nowhere, okay? In this video, we're going to talk about five things. Uh, one of the first things that we're going to talk about how much a graduation party costs. What are the costs and invitations and decorations? How do I plan my graduation party? I'm also gonna talk about what would I do differently the next time I throw a party. And also, I'm gonna show you guys some actual footage from Facebook Live of my actual party and how everything turned out. Okay, so, number one, how much did I spend on my graduation party? In total, uh, so, I would say for a party between anything between 30 to 50, you're going to spend about $800, $900, okay? I totaled up everything that I spent for my party and I got about that much. However, I have very loving friends and family who really helped me cut down that cost a lot. For one, I had an outside graduation party, so I needed tables, chairs, tents. If you want to do a party in the inside, you don't have to worry about tents and things like that. I had a DJ. I spent about 150 on a DJ. That's very cheap. It's hard to find DJs for that much. Um, I spent about $100 on decorations. You guys know that me and Yasmin are very creative. Some of the things you're seeing around me are some of the things that we use for decorations. Me and uh, Yasmin, we created a lot of the decorations that we use for the party. Um, we got most of it from Amazon, some stuff from Dollar Tree. We spent about 120 on food. Um, we use finger food. We use finger food such as like chicken salads. I don't know if y'all heard of that. It's like a chicken soup you eat or like a chicken broth soup that you eat when you've been drinking. A lot of people don't know about that. We use like sandwiches. We had chicken. We had like devil eggs, meatballs. We had like finger food. Um, of course, supplies like napkins, forks, plates, sodas, water, water bottles, liquor. We made a big thing of hunch punch. For you guys who don't know what hunch punch is, <laughs> It's the punch that make you go hunch. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I mean, I mean, you could do that. You could do that. But nah, like hunch punch is like, it's just a giant pitcher of liquor that can serve a party for about 50 to 100 people. Depends on how much of it you make. So we made a giant, I'm not good with my metrics right now, but it was about this big. And we filled it up maybe like halfway that took two bottles of sky liquor and of course the juice that had two big bottles i had a giant bottle of jack daniels the big one for 40 dollars, and i had a big bottle the 40 dollar bottle of syrah we used that for shots i also had jello shots made we might have spent somewhere around 160 or something like that and of course we spent about another 65 dollars on games and prizes yes i had games and prizes at a party about seven or eight prizes i got all my prizes from the dollar tree like cards in there um like a hairbrush candy so i made really nice prizes um between the prizes and the games that we came up with about 65 dollars. so the total cost of my party came up to 810 but i have amazing family and friends and an amazing mom of course so you know everybody helped pitch in for my party and so if you have friends and family that's willing to pitch in for your party let them know that you a graduate and you need to help me out boo it was actually cost effective, you know, if you have people to help it. But if you don't, you don't have to spend as much money as I did. You can definitely cut the cost in half by, you know, instead of a DJ, you could just buy a DJ mix or a CD and you could just put plug your speaker in and just play music that way. One of my games, that's what this board is here. This is the what year is it game. So what I did is got a bunch of pictures of me through over the years and the way I would do it is the guests would put like their name like their initials and a sticky note on what year they think this is in each picture so like let's say you think this is 2003 right so you put your initials and you put 2003 on a sticker and then whoever got the most guesses right won the game this is a board that I created myself it was very simple the board is like from Dollar Store. Uh, the glitter I got from Walmart. It was very simple. And I printed the pictures from Walgreens. It's a very simple game. And we had a lot of fun playing it, playing everything. 
Of course, uh, we played Drunk Uno. My sister made this board. That was a fun game. It's a great icebreaker to get your guests talking and socializing. Uh, we also played King's Cup. Y'all gotta excuse me. These games might be a little raggedy looking because we was outside and the wind was blowing. It was hot. But this is another game that we played, uh, King's Cup. This is a really fun game to play, especially when you got a crowd of people. This game gets everybody drunk. If you really want to play a game that have your guests socializing, getting drunk, having fun, King's Cup is your game, okay? So it's not like a game I made up on my own. It's just a game that I found on the internet. And I took the time to make a board with the rules on it. So this one behind me, you know, it's a little hard to see, but just like a baby shower game when they tell you, you can't say baby, you can't say foot, or you lose a clothespin. I did the same concept except for with my board, you couldn't say graduate school degree. If you got caught saying this, I had these cute little graduate pens and they would take a pen away every time you said any one of these words. And of course the person with the most pens at the end of the night, they got the prize. Number two, I'm gonna talk about the cost and decorations and invitations. Hey, everybody has phones now. Everything is electronic now, so why not use apps? There are some really cool apps that you can use. The two apps that I use for my invitations, um, one of them was an invitation card maker. Now this is what I ended up using in the end because this one was free and it's pretty much more like a flyer. So I pretty much created my own personal graduation flyer and I just sent it to people's phones with the address, the time of the party. I let people know that we're gonna be playing games and stuff, you know, to encourage people to come. And don't forget when you having a graduation party, I don't care how much money you got. You better put monetary gifts accept it okay let people know that i want you to come to my party but um hello come out them pockets boo i just did a whole four years you better come out them pockets and show me a little bit of love and support not that i'm making it mandatory but you know it is very much appreciated so hobnob is another great app but i think they only let you send out about 10 invitations before you have to pay for it and then you have to pay i'm not i don't remember how much it was i don't know if it was 10 or 20 dollars or something per every time you want to send a uh, like 10 invitations to some people. What I really like about the app is the app lets people RSVP. So let's say I sent the app to my friend, she can go into the invitation that I sent to her, it'll let her RSVP and that they'll send a notification to me and letting me know that this person said they're coming for sure. You know what I'm saying? So I really like that. What I didn't like about the app is it does this thing where it makes you go into like a group chat or something, which I didn't really like, but it is a great nifty way of sending invitations to people. How did I plan it? How did I plan this party? Pretty much I sat down with a pen and a paper <laughs> and I sat down with my mom and my mom helped me a lot. She says, okay, well, this is how much this is gonna cost. This is what we're gonna do. This is how food's gonna go. This is how we're gonna do with decorations miscellaneous you know plan as you go plan for the day you don't know if it's going to be raining you want to plan ahead you want to you want to give people enough time to know about your party so that they can request days off i constantly checked on the weather i sat down i had my mom do the food for me which really helped out i had a friend who helped me with the dj you know i had all these things in place you have to really sit down and organize the party and the events into everything and it's best to do it with a friend or a family member because they can always think of things that you might have forgotten to think about okay four what would i do differently um i think my party came out great i had a great time but i was exhausted okay i was down and just entertaining everybody i'm entertaining friends that i haven't seen since middle school i'm entertaining family members i haven't seen in years or months i'm going around trying to entertain everybody let them know i'm happy that they came I was exhausted. It's my party. Like, I want to sit down and relax and have a drink like everybody else. But I was so concerned about who didn't get a plate, who didn't eat, who didn't drink. I was exhausted. You know, it's a lot. I love yes, miss. As much as she get on my nerves. She helped me a lot. But I would have preferred to have a host. Somebody in charge of making everybody have a good time. I would definitely got a caterer, okay? Even though we had finger food, there was a little bit issue, you know? I would have rather had the finger food pre-prepared, you know, everything put together in like a plate or a platter or a to-go plate so that everybody can just get a plate. Nobody's hovering over the food. Nobody's taking more than the other person. That way everybody gets a chance to eat. I would definitely have somebody designated to do the food. Um, I have a party outside. I would have much rather have it inside. Me and my sister spent the day before doing decorations. 
if you plan on doing your own decorations which is fine always plan it a day do not do decorations the same day of the party you have no idea how your decorations are going to turn out you have no idea what trouble you might have setting up you don't know if you might have to go to the store and get something else it's always best to decorate like two days in advance if you can if you want to do it i hope some of these tips and advice i was talking about got you thinking about the party or encouraged you to have the party and i really hope that helped you a lot with some of the things that i was saying so with that being said let's go into the recap of what my party was like i'm on my sister's facebook live this is the first time i'm seeing any videos from my party okay and you know before y'all watch this i have been doing a little so just don't judge me okay <laughs> We played a lot of games. We also had this bingo scratch-off game. 
And if you lost, it would say lucky. And if you won, it would say winner. So my mom's like, I'm lucky. I won. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in with me. Thanks for sharing this moment with me. Thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Keep joining Team Lola. And I will see you guys next time.